Hello, just doing a video here. This is on Tractor Pro 1 and 2. This is um, getting your um, your settings across from Tractor 1 into Tractor 2 so you can use it seamlessly um, and once you've installed Tractor 2 you'll have no problems at all and you'll have all the same settings and you'll basically pick up from where you left off on Tractor 1. So I've got these windows open here, so Tractor 1 and Tractor 2. These can be found in your documents. If you go into my documents, as you can see up here, and then go into native instruments, and then we head down to tractor. They should be saved like this. This is the default place. If, it, if it's not there, then it should be saved somewhere else. So I'll go and have a find. <laughs> okay, so what do we need? We need to copy some settings, some files from tractor one over into Tractor 2. We've got settings that we'll need to copy and we'll also need to copy collection. These settings will here will control everything um, the Tractor uses. So you know your um, layouts and all the other settings that you've saved recently. Um, backups you might you might need to, you might not. Um, it's up to you. Um, and collections, this is where all your tracks are saved. So, for example, if you latest played tracks um, and your playlists and stuff, so that can be all copied from there. What we need to do first is in our tractor one, is the ones that we want to copy from here, we need to rename. And we're going to rename this for a purpose, is so if we have a problem we can always come back to this and um, use the, the default ones from Tractor. So just hit rename and all I did as you can see here I've just put brackets space brackets one like so and now it's a completely different file and it won't read it but it will still be there and you'll know which one to use um, when it comes to bringing it back up if there's any problems. So all we do is simply click and drag across and you're sorted. You can also right click, drag and drop and it will bring you up this menu and it will ask you what you want to do. So you can either create a shortcut, move or copy. Normally I'd like to copy so you've still got the original file in Tractor 1 so if you want to use Tractor 1 you've always got it there and we've got this in Tractor 2. Now I don't need this one. Um, and you can do the same for uh, your settings. As you see I've done here, this is this one with brackets 2 is the original. This one here is the settings that I've used um, from the original Tractor and now I've edited within Tractor 2, like so. Um, so that's pretty much it. You can that so all right so that's it I think that's the easiest way of getting all your settings across so you don't need to bother about um, taking your time and re-uploading all the um, folders and what have you okay so um, if you'd like any more tutorials feel free to post down below don't forget to comment and subscribe until next time practice and enjoy